But looking very holiday-like yeah. on the Cape. A little bit of a squall oh, out over Provincetown, but you can see how uh, clear it is here. Eric, and uh, it's going to be pretty on Provincetown in the morning. I would say so. You know, those mornings with this little snow on top of the dunes on Cape Cod, that is magic. So if you're up early and you're uh, walking around or perhaps have a chance to go out there for the camera, it'd be a great morning for it. Some dustings to an inch of snowfall. Today, 36 degrees in Boston. Obviously, colder than average for this time of the year. We've had that midwinter feel over the last couple of days. Average high is about 45. Sitting at 33 right now, 20s to the west, and about 32 in Provincetown, 31 in Hyannis, where we have some of those snowflakes in the air this evening. Those are ocean effect. So we've had this northerly breeze, a little bit of convergence with the wind. Winds coming together across the Outer Cape. And you can see that band that has been kind of over Stellwagen and then making its way across the Outer Cape and even the Mid Cape, some flurries as well. We zoom in a little bit. You can see exactly where those heavier elements have been. I've been watching some of the webcams. Some actually pretty decent snowfall in Provincetown down to Wellfleet and Truro. Won't last for too long as this band moves off toward the east. But if you do have to travel overnight tonight into early tomorrow, some slick spots on the roadways. See some of the steadiest right now in Truro, down to Wellfleet and over Cahoon Hollow right now, getting a pretty good dose of snowfall and some wind as well. So a snowy scene, a coating to as much of an inch likely in the higher amounts seen over Provincetown this evening. I think that line will be around Hyannis, anywhere west of there. I'm not expecting any snowfall outside of a flurry or two tonight. Now tomorrow we'll start the day with sunshine, but then as we go through the afternoon, the clouds will be building in from the west. So we'll see that increasing cloud cover and with a west-south West wind as a cold front approaches, some more rain and snow showers as we make our way through the late afternoon and the evening. Now, with that wind coming off of Long Island Sound and Nantucket Sound, the air is cold, but the water's still mild, so we could see a little bit of an enhancement of some rain and snow showers toward the south coast and the Cape. This is tomorrow evening. See the clock up here late at night around this time, and then we'll clear out heading into the day on Friday with a reinforcing shot of cold air in place as we make our way toward the end of the work week. And cold is generally the theme that we're dealing with here. So tomorrow morning starts with sunshine. Sunrise is at 6.59, getting close to those 7 a.m. sunrises. It'll be after 7 o'clock from Saturday through the month of January, so our darkest mornings of the year. Midday is partly cloudy and dry, and then as we head toward the evening, becoming mostly cloudy, and late in the evening is where we have some of those rain and snow showers, particularly toward the south coast. Our sunset at 411. High temps tomorrow, a little milder than what we had today. Upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Colder across central Massachusetts in the lower to middle 30s for high temps tomorrow. Then on Friday, we're back into the cold stuff. The wind will be out of the northwest. Highs near 35, but wind chill values in the 20s. We really bottom out on Saturday, just in the 20s to around 30 degrees for our high temperatures there at the start of the weekend. And in terms of uh, any issues, not expecting many here. As we look at Saturday and Sunday, if you're running any holiday errands, we're going to have bright sunshine out there. It's just cold near 30 on Saturday, 30 on Sunday. We're also watching that storm system which is making its way uh, across the southern tier states. It doesn't look like it'll bring any natural snow to us here in New England, but at the ski slopes, we've got plenty and it's not going anywhere with temperatures like these. It should be a great weekend to be out there at the uh, many of the slopes across New England, about as good as it gets early in the season. Now that storm again moving its way off to our south. Right now, I think it'll be staying off to our south this weekend, Saturday, Sunday into Monday, sliding offshore. So I'm not expecting any significant impacts here in New England with that particular system. We'll keep an eye on it as it is rather close and it's winter time, but I think the Carolinas are really going to take the brunt of that particular storm for us. So we take a look at our seven day and overall just a lot of suns and a lot of cold, almost 30s every single day, teens and 20s every night. David Elisa, back to you. Yeah, we have the sunshine. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Eric, thank you. He